everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make my original design, the Pythagoras bracelet. And this was designed by me. It's original design, so uh, this is designed by me. And this was surprisingly made on two full looms. Um, and it still does not go all the way around my wrist. Like it goes probably two thirds of the way around. Um, but this is what it looks like. So yeah, this is the back side here. This is the side you're going to be placing, and then here is the side you will be looping. So I named it Pythagoras because of the Pythagorean theorem, and I just um, some of the band in here I looped like triangles. So anyway, I will have my Instagram name in the description box below if you want to check that out. Um, if you don't already know, I have an Instagram. And yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need today is a hook, a C clip and your five pins here, and then three or more colors of bands, however many you like. I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. You're gonna wanna have your loom set up like this, and once you have it set up like this, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I would recommend if you have 15 bar pins to make it three looms long, and probably go two and a half or three um, entire looms, just because it's, it's really tight. Okay, so first thing that we're going to be placing is the border and the center chain here. So I used white for both the border and the single chain, so I'm going to use mother of pearl for the same thing. Starting on the first center peg, you're going to go up into the outside and up into the outside. And then you're going to go just horizontally to the outside here. And then you're going to be doing a single chain until you reach the second to last peg on your loom. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. I'm going to go ahead and continue just placing these single chains down. You can follow along or skip ahead, whichever you prefer. You can also pause the video if you want to as well. I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing this, and then I'll show you how to close this off. So once you reach the second to last peg on the borders of your loom, what you're going to do is just go across horizontally. And then you're going to finish by going up and into the center at the very top. And close that off. Then come back to the beginning of your loom, and the next thing that we're going to be doing is placing this single chain down the center. On this side, it's just sim simple single chain. So I'm using Mother of Pearl for that again, just like I use white again in this bracelet. And what you're going to do is just on the center peg, place a regular single chain going all the way down the loom. And I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll show you what bands to place next. Alright, once you reach the end, go ahead and put away your border bands for now. You should end right here at this last peg, and come back to the beginning of your loom. Next bands that we're going to be placing are these center bands. They are X bands, and in here I use Glacier Green, and it looks like this on the back side. And I'm going to be using Turquoise Medieval. It's really good to use uh, dual layer bands for this because you can easily untwist them but not so much for the next uh, part. So from here, just like I said before, you're gonna create an X. So go up into the center, up into the center, and then to the outside, and to the outside. So that's what it's gonna look like all the way up your loom. So again, just place an X up and into the center, up into the center, go out, and out. So go ahead and do your X's all the way down the loom and I'll show you where to stop at the end and then I'll show you what bands to place next.
So as you get to the end of your loom, you should just end with your X bands going to the outside. Then once you have that, just go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is placing these turquoise jelly bands in this bracelet. They're on the sides. And I'm going to be using navy blue jelly today. I would probably recommend using a jelly um, or opaque band, not necessarily a dual layer or limited edition band since uh, they do stretch pretty far. So starting on this outside left peg here, you're going to go up and not just in a regular X, but in a long, long X here. So you're going to go up to the third right peg from the first peg here up to the third peg over there. And then the same thing here. You're going to start on the outside. You're going to go up and into the center. And then from the inside and go up to the outside. And then go up to the second peg. Starting on the outside, you're going to go up to the inside. And from the inside to the outside. Same here. Oops. I can't even remember which way I was placing it. Go from the outside to the inside, inside to outside. So you're just going to go up each peg and place bands up and into the center and then back out all the way down the loom. Also, for this bracelet, try to use as many um, base plates as possible. They're the blue things on the bottom of your loom because these bands will really pull these two pins together. So um, if you don't want your loom to collapse, then I suggest you use um, as many base plates as you can fit just so that it doesn't snap. Then go ahead and do this all the way down the loom, and I'm going to show you what to do next and what it looks like when you get to the end. Alright, so once you get to the top of your loom, the last bands you're going to be placing are these bands from this third to last peg, up to the last peg, and then same here, up into the outside. So, once it looks like this, you're going to go ahead and turn your loom around so that the arrows are now pointing towards you. You're going to grab three more of your border color, or your cap band color, and the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking one of them and making a regular cap band on your hook. I'm going to pull it across these two pegs. Do the same thing to the other side, so cap it. And put it across these two pegs. Then the last thing you're going to do is put a regular cap band in the center here. So then we can go ahead and start looping, and what we're going to do is just... Um, we're going to loop forward these blue bands first. Um, and we're not going to loop them to themselves. Instead, we're just going to go underneath of the cap band, grab whichever band you like. I'm going to start with my left, and you're going to pull it just straight forward to that pin right above it. It's the same here. Go inside, <clears throat> grab this band, and pull it up to the peg here. I almost lost that. And I like to make sure that my bands aren't all twisted, but it's hard sometimes. So grab the next band, and you're going to pull it up. And it will um, only be pulling this one band, but that's okay because it will be pulling two bands from now on. So pull this band forward. And you can just loop it like you would a regular single chain. And you're going to do this on both sides. You can untwist your bands if you want. Just don't take them off of the pegs.
and just go ahead and do this all the way down the loom and I will show you what to do after this. And once you have looped all of these bands, you're going to notice that it's going to stop on these two pegs. But don't worry about connecting it to the top because it's already connected to these X bands and the border bands, which will both um, get looped so that all of these bands are caught. So once you have this, go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. The next thing that we're going to be doing is looping the center X bands and then the center chain here as well, kind of at the same time. So the first thing you're going to do is go underneath of the cap band here and you're going to grab that single chain band that goes straight forward and instead of looping it straight forward you're going to loop it out and around so it kind of creates a triangle here across these two pegs and then this one then once you do that what we're going to do is go ahead and take this turquoise medieval band and you're going to pull up into the center and then same thing here you're going to take this one you're going to pull up into the center, you might want to push those down, then go up to this next peg, you're going to grab this turquoise band, pull it down into the center, and this band, and pull it down into the center. So you're kind of looping um, this X into itself rather than out, um, and then you're just going to go grab this mother of pearl on the bottom, the single chain, and you're going to pull it out and around these two pegs and make a triangle with this other center peg. So again you're going to be looping this X band, these X bands up into the center and then from up here you're going to loop them down and down then grab this mother of pearl single chain and loop it out to the sides and continue doing this all the way down your loom. I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way down my loom and then I'll show you what to loop next. Oops, make sure you are only grabbing one band there. And if your bands in the center are twisted, don't worry about it. Like, mine are really, really badly twisted, but um, you can fix it a lot easier um, than you can most bracelets. So when you pull it off the loom, you should be able to fix it really quickly if you are using dual layer bands. Grab two bands again. And you can't see the top of my loom. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. Okay, 
Okay, so you're just going to loop these last uh, X bands into the center like normal. However, on these two, it will only have one band pulling on it. And you're going to grab the single chain and you are going to pull it out in a triangle here. And then once you do that, go ahead and push down all the bands on these top pegs and on these outside pegs here. And come back to the beginning of your loom. And push down your cap bands on the sides. And what we're going to do is just loop the border. So go underneath your cap band, grab your border band, and pull it out to itself. And the other border band, pull that out to itself. And then go inside here, pull that out. Inside of here, pull that out. And then loop this band forward, this band forward. And you're just going to loop it in a single chain all the way down the loom. So it should be pretty simple looping here. Then once you get to the top, you're going to loop it in. And then up into the top center. And then loop the other side down. I'm going to take these off, and then I'm going to loop the rest. And again loop it into the center, and then up into the very top. Grab an extension band, you're going to stick your hook down through and you're going to pull, oops, I just lost this band. Stick your hook down through, pull the band through and reattach it on your hook, and then you're going to go ahead and pull this off the loom. Be careful when you uh, are pulling this off the loom that you don't break any of your bands, whether they're center chains or the X's on the outsides or the X's in the center. Um, it's a pretty tight bracelet, hence the reason you need three looms to make a full wrap. Okay. So as you can see, this is what one loom length makes, and it's really, really messy and not very pretty right now. Um, I also didn't use very good colors. It's it's a pretty uh, bad color combination on my part. But you can just twist these bands and untwist them, and it looks better when you pull this design out to the side, and it obviously does look better if you have more than pretty much a keychain length, and when it... It has a good color combo and you straighten all the bands. So anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. That's my thumb. <laughs> and I will have my Instagram name in, this, in the description box below if you want to check it out and give me a follow on Instagram. Um, I always post my original designs there before I post them here on YouTube. So if you want a sneak peek, go ahead and check out my Instagram. And that's all I'm going to have for this video. So I hope to see you next time.